Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Adam and I run a social media marketing agency and on here and on my channel, what I do is I create videos about SMMA, freelancing and how you can make money online. Now in today's video, I wanna sit down with you and explain how running an e-commerce or a paid ads agency isn't the only way to go, right? You can offer other services and run an SMMA business and still make very, very good money. The reason I'm making this video today is that over the past one to two weeks, I've been on YouTube, you know, I've been looking for content ideas, seeing what other people are doing. And one thing I've noticed is that a lot of people in the SMMA space are talking about how SMMA is dying. And what they're basically saying in these videos is that unless you're offering paid ads, so Facebook or Google ads, and unless you're working with e-commerce clients, you have no chance of running a successful SMMA business. And I'm here today to challenge that. And the reason I wanna do that is because I've noticed that most of the people who are saying this, right, who are saying that you can't get results unless you offer Facebook ads and you work with e-commerce clients, is that most of these people have a program or mentorship which only focuses on offering that service, paid ads, to e-commerce clients. So you have to understand that they're obviously gonna be slightly biased. I'll be 100% honest, I'm completely biased in my opinions because I think running an SMMA business is way better than freelancing or drop shipping or doing basically anything else at the moment. And that's because I run one myself, I see good results with it, and I do have a program where I teach people how to start. But because most of the people I've seen talk about this specifically help people in their coaching or their mentorship program with starting paid ads for e-commerce businesses, their videos are obviously going to back up what they do and they're going to tell you that, you know, content creation, web design, SEO, email marketing, that all of these things are dead and that they're impossible to do. And the only way to get results is to do paid ads with an e-commerce agency. Now, I've seen some really, really good points being made in these videos, like really good points, a lot of logic, um, it makes a lot of sense, and I definitely agree with a lot of what they're saying. But I do know a lot of people who are doing content creation, graphic design, video shooting and video editing, and all kinds of other services, and they're getting good results. And I really just wanna say this as well, because I know some of you watching this might be a videographer, you might be a photographer, or you might have a different service to offer, and you're being told that you can't do that. You're being told that if you wanna see success, you have to learn Facebook ads, or you gotta hire a freelancer to do that. So that's one option. But that is only one option. There's multiple other options. And I want to explain to you basically the downsides of doing paid ads and running a solely e-commerce agency. But before I do that, I want to touch on the pros and the advantages of doing paid ads, doing Facebook ads for e-commerce businesses, right? So we're going to get straight into that first. So point number one is that you can generally charge higher retainers and it's a lot easier to charge a higher retainer when you're doing Facebook ads or Google ads. So on average, most agencies who are doing this will charge probably a minimum of 2K per month, but they also charge a return on ad spend, meaning that if they make their client 10K in profit, they might get 10% of that, meaning that they get an extra 1K for doing the service. So in total, they're actually bringing in 3K, which is really, really good. So that's one huge advantage. The second advantage is because you can charge higher retainers and make more per client, you can naturally just have less clients, all right? To hit 10K a month, you only need maybe two, three, or four clients max. Whereas if you're doing content creation or something a little bit more low ticket, you're gonna need a lot more clients. Point number three is that it's very scalable. If you get good results for your client, you just spend more money, they make more money, and you make more money as well because you get a percentage of the profit that you make them. But here are some of the negatives of solely offering Facebook and Google ads to e-commerce businesses. Point number one is that ad accounts are getting banned every single day. I've spoke with people who are literally getting ad accounts banned on a weekly basis. So for a client, they have to go through four ad accounts in literally one month. That is a whole lot of stress and that is very hard to scale. Let's say, for example, you could be running amazing ads, getting great results, and then you get your ad account banned and you've got to start from scratch. Point number two is that you cannot control the conversion rate on your client's website, okay? Let's say you hop on a call with a potential client. They've got a cool looking website. They've told you that it converts really well and it looks like they're doing decent numbers with their website at the moment. You come on board, you start running ads and you're getting loads of people to the website but nobody is converting, nobody is buying product. Because you are only offering paid ads, you cannot go in there and fix the website. You cannot go in there and change it and try and do some conversion rate optimization. So if this is the scenario, you're gonna to have to tell them, hey, you need to fix your website. So then you're gonna to have to stop running the ads. They're gonna to have to fix the website. They'll probably have to pay someone else. And meantime, you're just sitting here idle. You could be waiting two, three or four weeks for them to get that done. 
So there's a lot that you cannot control. So yes, if you're getting good results, it's amazing because you get a percentage of the profits you make them. But if you're not getting any results, your client is probably going to leave because you work on purely a performance basis. And that leads me on to point number three is that if one client leaves you, that leaves a bigger dent in your pocket. You could be getting them great results, but they might decide, look, we're paying these guys three grand a month. We could just take this in-house, hire our own freelancer and probably do it for one grand or two grand. So you're not irreplaceable. You know, it's very, very common. And you see it with a lot of big agencies that they're doing great. They're getting great results for the clients, but the client might want to just take it in-house. But if that client leaves you, you're left with a bigger dent in your wallet. Because let's say you're doing 10K a month, you've got three clients on average, they're all paying about 3.3K per month. One of them leaves and all of a sudden you're down to 6.6K. That's a very big dip. That's a 33% decrease. And all of a sudden, if you lose another client the next month, you could be down to just 3K a month. See, this is really specific to an agency that charges very high retainers. So in some scenarios, charging lower ticket and having more volume can actually be an advantage because if you have multiple clients who pay you 1K a month, you know, you've got more scope, right? If one client leaves and you're doing 10K a month, hey, you lost 1K. Point number four is that the ad platforms that you are running ads on are changing all of the time and you cannot control them, right? Like I said, you can get your ad accounts banned, things can happen and you just don't have a whole lot of control. And point number five is that it's very hard to stand out from the crowd because you're solely working on performance. It's hard to differentiate yourself from the three other people who had a call with a business last week who all offer Facebook ads and Google ads. All right, guys, so my camera battery actually died while I was recording the main part of the video and I only realized afterwards. So it is actually two days later. I'm going to finish off this video and continue it. I've got the battery charged, so we should be good. So I finished off explaining to you kind of like the pros and cons, right, of doing the standard e-commerce, Facebook ads, Google ads agency. And there is pros and cons for both, right? There's a ton of advantages of running paid ads and having that as your main service that you offer. But there's also a lot of downfalls that a lot of people are not talking about. They're almost hiding these downfalls and just highlighting the downfalls of something like SMMA, where you're doing social media, you're doing content creation, or maybe you're doing graphic design. So whether you wanna run Facebook ads, Google ads, or you wanna go down a different route and you wanna offer content creation, video editing, video shooting, or something of that nature, just know that you can still get very, very good results with that service as well. When I was freelancing, I actually had a way more focus on Facebook ads, building sales funnels, and doing more of the performance marketing. That left me with a bunch of issues where I found it really hard to scale, and then if I didn't get results because the client had a terrible website, I was at their mercy. There was not much I could do. You know, I wasn't a website expert. So I had to leave it up to them. And because I didn't have that control, I couldn't get them results. And if I don't get them results, they're not gonna stay with me. So my agency, we don't do any Facebook ads. We basically just do content creation, social media growth, social media management. And for us, it's worked out pretty well. One of the big things with us is that because we're charging lower retainers, you know, when we lose a client, there's less of a dent in our pocket and it's easier to replace that client because we just have a really dialed in system of how to find these clients and what to say to them to get them to actually sign up with us. I was actually on a call one day ago with a guy who owns a really successful paid ads agency. So they purely are performance based, right? They don't even charge a base retainer with their clients. They just take a percentage of ad spend and the profit they make them. And they're doing really well, like really, really well. But he explained to me their average life cycle is about four months, but they have a bunch of clients that will leave way before that. So on a monthly basis, they might get five to six K out of a client because they're really good at what they do. They know how to run ads and they do it really, really well. But what can happen is they can run ads for a client for three months, get them really good results. And then because the ads are running inside the client's ad account, what often happens is they just hire a freelancer for like $500 to come in and basically just manage those ads. And the reason I'm saying that is because he made a very good point. He said, because you guys don't do any of this kind of performance stuff, and it's more so based on content creation and providing a service that is such a base level for clients, like they can't imagine their life without you doing that for them. And he actually explained that to me and how that's such a benefit because you know we have clients where they've been with us for a year. We got our first clients in November last year and our first two clients are still with us. So they may only pay us one to maybe 1.5K per month, but if you add that up over a year, that's a lot of money. And for them to go and find a graphic designer, a video editor, someone who can write really great content and captions for Instagram, to manage all the posting, to post on the stories, to reply to comments and DMs, 
it's an absolute nightmare. They would have to find like three different people. They'd probably have to pay them more because they'd have to find a specialist in the US or something like this. So for us, we've got such a good position there and those clients are probably not gonna drop us anytime soon because they're happy with what we're doing. We're saving them a ton of time and it just makes sense for them. And because we're only charging maybe one to 1.5K per month, if they have a bad month in sales, you know, they maybe turn over 30% less than they did the month before. It's not the end of the world because what we're doing is more long-term focused. This content is going to get them sales two months and three months down the line because we're building their social presence. So look, there's pros and cons, okay? You can do a paid ads agency or you could do a general agency where you do social media, content creation, SEO, web development, like the list is endless. Now, the main thing I want to get home to you is that the fundamentals are the same, okay? Yes, they look slightly different. Paid ads agency, you can hit 10K a month with like two or three clients clients with a social media agency you're going to have to have more clients and you're going to probably have more staff members because you need to do more physical work but the fundamentals are the same it all comes down to three key areas when it comes to running an agency and that is marketing you know getting leads and getting interest from actual businesses sales which is literally just selling those potential businesses on your service and then finally operations and that's literally just delivering the service that you're getting paid for and any type of agency has to deal with those three things, whether they are 100K a month, 10K a month, or half a million a month. So if someone tells you that you shouldn't start a social media agency or SMMA because it's dying or because an e-commerce paid ads agency is the only way to do it, just know that they may have a course or a program that is specifically for an e-commerce or a paid ads agency. So take their word and just add a little bit of salt on top and then you know let that simmer and let yourself see the full real picture. And again, this video is not to bash anyone who's doing e-commerce or paid ads agencies because I know loads of them are absolutely killing it and they're teaching other people to absolutely crush it as well. So they're doing good stuff, but I just don't want you to get discouraged if you hear one of their videos where they're saying that you have to do paid ads and there's no other way because there is. There's so many ways you can run an agency. You just have to find a service that one, you can do or you can find someone else who can do it for you and that you know is actually gonna be scalable, it's gonna be profitable and you're actually going to enjoy running it. So in a recap, that is why SMMA is not dying and that e-commerce paid ads agencies are great, but they are not the only way. Now, apologies for the disruption where the video cut out and I had to hop in here with my not so professional clothes on. But I hope you got value from this video. If you did, I would absolutely really appreciate it if you could leave a like below. Really helps out the channel. And you know, we want to start hitting those bigger numbers with these videos. So any likes are appreciated. And as always, I hope you have a good day and thank you for watching.